Daniel Bryan versus Drew Gulak opens the show. Oh my god. Creamy goodness. I am Drew Gulak's biggest fan. I adored him on 205 Live. I loved, loved, loved that PowerPoint gimmick. The megaphone as well. Loved his original music. Make 205 Live a better place. He had this brilliant presidency campaign shtick going on. He was running around giving people stickers. He was insisting that nobody's allowed to fly. Screaming at people to get down off the... Oh, everything about Drew Gulak screams entertainer. He's a guy who gets wrestling. And here he is in the ring with his equal in terms of a technical wrestler. I don't think people realise just how good a wrestler Drew Gulak is. I would argue one of the best technical wrestlers in the world. I use the term wrestler very strongly there because ultimately a lot of people are like, yeah, well, he's not The Rock, is he? No, but he's definitely a better technical wrestler than most people. Absolutely is. And that was proven in this match. This was an absolute fucking clinic from start to finish. Daniel Bryan versus Drew Gulak. Oh, suit you, sir. Oh, oh. Bit of a hammerlock, sir. Oh, going for the collar and elbow type, sir. Oh, surfboard stretch, sir. Oh, suit you, sir. Suit you. Some people will get that. Other people won't. Uh, the, people, the people who don't, search the fast show. You're welcome. It was brilliant. It was fucking amazing. It was the match I wanted it to be as well. I was terrified because this match had three days build, really, because they announced on SmackDown. Danny Bryan comes into the locker room. Um two days build actually on Friday on Smackdown and just basically says well if you think you can beat me so easily why don't you wrestle me this Sunday great build <laughs> go fuck yourself what's that Daniel Bryan probably the most intriguing character you've had in the last five years yeah give it two days that'll be right mate that'll be fine so he goes out there and has this clinic with Drew Gulak it was beautiful to watch and I was in fear of this match a little bit because oh, please don't do it dirty and just, you know, four minute squash or Daniel Bryan just kind of running him over. It was in Philadelphia, which was Drew Gulak's hometown. A sizable portion of the crowd were quite into Gulak, although it also took the crowd out of it a bit, I know it's because of course Daniel Bryan is supremely over. But people did also didn't want to boo Drew Gulak because he's the hometown guy. So there was kind of this apathy <laughs> from the crowd. Um I'd like to think they were quiet because they were all admiring such beautiful technical wrestling, but you just never know, really. But I loved it. I thought this was beautiful. And it reminded me that, holy shit, we don't have much technical wrestling in WWE anymore at all. To see these guys, you know, scrambling around, rolling around on the mat, just absolutely killing it from a technical standpoint. Stuff that you would learn in more advanced seminars and training sessions as a wrestler. It was just wonderful. There was a, a little bit of amateur wrestling spliced in there as well. It just had so much to it that no other wrestling match has in this current era of WWE. So ultimately, for WWE to be brave enough to send this out there first, I thought was awesome. Because if you're going out there first, you have to set the tone. And these boys absolutely did. This was a four-star banger for me absolutely loved it absolutely thought it was it was just my cup of tea this is the kind of match right if this match was had in new japan people would be losing their fucking minds but because it's in wwe and people are used to entertainment they're not going to speak too much about this match this match will be so quickly forgotten and Daniel Bryan, interestingly in this kind of almost cryptic nature in a promo after the show said that Maybe uh, Drew Gulak can do a lot more for me. Maybe he can help me. And I'm intrigued by that idea. Possibly the idea of these two wrestling machines. Maybe going at it again. Maybe going after the tag team titles. Please, please, please make fucking use of Drew Gulak. Because he is phenomenal. He is literally one of the diamonds in the rough of WWE. And WWE, until this point, have not really used him. And I'm hoping that this match would have opened a few eyes. But I imagine Vince McMahon's probably backstage going, I don't give a shit about technical wrestling. Where's the, where's the steroids? God damn it! Like, he just doesn't, doesn't get it. He really doesn't get it. Um, But ultimately, an excellent, excellent match. I loved it. Really did. Thought it was utterly fantastic. 